the main uh, challenges uh, in the differential diagnosis of ovarian leukemia is against uh, so the differential diagnosis against uh, the mimickers of very cell leukemia like hairy cell leukemia variant and then splenic marginal zone lymphoma and splenic diffuse red puffs will be cell lymphoma because these other entities uh, have uh, uh, mm, worse prognosis and uh, they require a somewhat different uh, treatment strategy uh, in particular uh, Chemotherapy with purine analogs alone is not effective in those mimickers of very cell leukemia. Uh, and also BRAF inhibitors cannot be used because they, they don't have the, the, the BRAF mutation. So it is very important to, di to distinguish them uh, uh, in the diagnostic workup. And uh, to this end, uh, there are several markers that can be helpful, and in particular on immunos to chemistry, uh, annexin one expression, strong annexin one expression is a feature distinguishing very well hairy cell leukemia from its mimickers. And also the presence of the BRAF V600 mutation is also a very reliable uh, feature that distinguishes hairy cell leukemia, which is positive from the other mimickers, which are negative except in rare, uh, very rare instances. And the, the, this mutation can be detected uh, by immunostochemistry with a mutant-specific antibody that works well in bone marrow biopsies or with uh, molecular techniques like digital PCR or next generation sequencing in, in blood or in the blood or in, in, in the marrow. And regarding treatment, uh, Hair cell leukemia is a very curable disease, very manageable disease with uh, lots of different therapeutic options. And now that also uh, BRAF inhibitors uh, have uh, come to, to age in, the, in, in this disease and, and offer uh, yeah, and, and even further therapeutic options, also BTK inhibitors can be used and they have shown some efficacy also when the, the BCL2 inhibitor venetoclax. Uh, has some efficacy in particular cases that are refractory to everything to, to, to all other treatments. So there are several um, uh, therapeutic options available uh, that uh, that can be helpful in particular in um, in what remains uh, the, the main I think uh, a main need is is the patient presenting with an active infection where whereby chemotherapy uh, is dangerous because it further uh, reduces the um, already present uh, immune suppression and it adds myotoxicity and so in this setting uh, having uh, uh, an arsenal of uh, chemotherapy free treatments and first of all uh, of inhibitors based strategies but also other drugs uh, uh, has been shown to be very very uh, helpful in this difficult setting